When running fiber cables between equipment, it's not always in the most ideal environment. And when running fiber cables in an environment like this, traditional fiber jumpers just don't cut it. At first, I tried running the fiber jumper through plastic conduit. This was very time consuming and looked hideous. Then I had some flexible metal conduit made. This was still very time consuming and it wouldn't work in every environment. Lastly, I tried purchasing a piece of traditional armored fiber and having the ends pre-terminated. This made running the fiber very difficult because I had to protect the fragile ends as I pulled it through the ceiling. Also, there were several days of lead time as I waited for the company to custom make my fiber. Between the rooms, it's very well protected, but the ends are still fragile and exposed. This end is in a fiber distribution panel at the DMARC, and it's pretty well protected as long as you're not working within this panel. At the other end in the server room, it's a different story. As it enters the rack, the armored jacket is stripped off. Then as it enters the shelf, the next layer is stripped off, exposing the bare fibers. Now this isn't a restricted environment being in the data center, but the fibers are still very exposed for people working on the surrounding equipment. As I looked at the fragile wires exposed at the front of the rack, I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. That's when I was introduced to OptoSpan heavy armored fiber jumpers. You can purchase these through sandspot.com. They're rated for military and tactical applications and they're a hundred times stronger than traditional fiber jumpers. I want to mention up front that I'm not affiliated with Optospan or Sandspot.com in any way. I'm just a satisfied customer that wants to get the word out about an otherwise obscure product. These cables are very durable, but yet still very flexible. I haven't been concerned at all when pulling these cables about taking too sharp of a turn or pulling too hard. They come with a uniboot design which prevents snagging, and as you can see they're still underneath the rubber lining leading up to the end. The ends are also very durable. They come in different lengths and configurations as you might expect, and since these are pre-made, there's little to no lead time. The armor comes from wrapping the fiber in steel and then coating it in Kevlar. It's a good mix of ruggedness while maintaining flexibility. Here's a similar installation to the DMARC that we saw before, but now the fiber jumper is armored and protected all the way down to the jack. So when someone's working in this panel, I don't have to worry about the loose fiber cables getting snagged. They also work great as uplinks to switches. These fiber jumpers are routed through wire management and cable tray, and as additional ethernet cables are added, I don't have to be concerned about the cables being damaged. In a fiber channel stand environment, it makes sense to use traditional fiber jumpers if the jumpers are staying within the same rack. But when the host is on the other side of the data center, these heavy armored cables are perfect. Now let's take a look at the ends. When comparing the uniboot design to a traditional fiber jumper, you can see why it's so much more rugged. The fibers aren't exposed and you're protecting the fiber all the way up to the equipment. Here's a perfect use case for these jumpers. This is a wall mounted fiber distribution panel in a warehouse environment. The jumpers are routed from this panel down to a wall mounted switch enclosure. The jumpers are well protected and are less likely to be damaged as maintenance is being performed in this cabinet going forward. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of these jumpers. It's taken me years to find a product like this, and since that time I've purchased probably a dozen of these and have been very pleased with the results. You will pay a premium because they're about twice the price of a traditional fiber jumper, but it's well worth it. I'll leave a link to sandspot.com in the description, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.